Hey guys, hope you were doing well. I am out in the woods in Oregon. I mean, look at this. This is just beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. And I feel like I'm getting some okay shots, but I made a huge mistake coming out here. Let me tell you about it. One mistake I did not make is bringing the right footwear. Whenever I'm out shooting landscapes, um, waterproof hiking boots come in clutch like they are for me today because uh, obviously I'm shooting this stream and uh, you know, having a, these are like Gore-Tex line or something, whatever. Uh, but that stuff is important because you're always like standing in the elements. I'm lost. Uh, water's that way. Uh, anyway, so yeah, the um, footwear's treat me right. I've got the right boots on. I'm clambering around in the woods, looking to get to a different part of that stream and take more photos, but um, I'm not there yet. Let me uh, let me go find find my way. Okay, it's a little bit better. I made it back to the main uh, trail here, but that's cool. Check out this uh, this little house thing, this hut. Kind of kind of awesome. I love stuff like this. Hole in the roof, deserted. A little spooky looking, to be honest. Okay, found the river again. Check this out. Ah, uh, pretty cool. I'm gonna try to get some photos of that here in a sec. Okay, had to get away from the uh, water, as pretty as it is, and it felt great, because I had to wet my hair and stuff, but it's so loud. I don't think you could hear a single word I'm saying. Oh, crud. Hang on, I'm stuck again. Okay, I wouldn't suck that bad. If you go back to the first point I made in this video about having adequate footwear, uh, you know, if you got muddy, wet crossing, you just walk through it and step over what you can, which is what I did. Oh God, damn, getting old sucks. I keep falling over, tripping on stuff, but found my way back to that little hut. Let me get over there, wrap this thing up. This tree is huge. I love that stuff, living in Texas. I don't see trees like that, which is why I like to be up here so much. This is my favorite state in the country. Okay, so the uh, the big thing with landscape photography is having your images be pretty crisp and sharp. Now, there's technology these days, and I love it. Sharpen AI by Topaz, Tech Sharp AI by On One, soon to, soon to be uh, available Super Sharpen AI by the folks over at Skylum that make uh, Luminar. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna help me, but the problem is this is not a photography trip, but I was like, oh, I'll squeeze in some landscape shots and I'll just use my little uh, Manfrotto Pixie tripod to hold the camera. And that's the mistake, my friends, is not having adequate stabilization. So um, I was shooting yesterday and I had my 24 to 105, I think it is. And I was trying to shoot and I was zooming in. And the, uh, of course, when the uh, lens goes out a little bit ways, extends, it's heavier, and guess what? The Manfrotto Pixie can't support it. And so I had these beautifully composed, well, you know, at least to me, I had these beautifully composed images uh, of a creek with running water, and running water is like a favorite thing of mine to shoot. But I had these beautifully composed shots, and every one of them is soft. Now, I'm gonna try Super Sharpen AI, and I'm gonna try uh, Tech Sharp AI, and I'm gonna try Sharpen AI to see if I can salvage some of them, but uh, I was kind of unhappy, and then I was like, that's just, that's, that's a stupid mistake. I uh, didn't have a lot of room on my bag, not really a photo trip, but I was like, oh, there'll be rivers and creeks, and I'll have a few minutes to go out and shoot. And I was just thinking, I'll just put them on the Pixie, that way I don't have to bring the tripod, and that was just a dumb move. Um, luckily, uh, in addition to my 24 to 105, I also brought my 20 millimeter 1.8 Prime, which is smaller and lighter, and it is uh, it is my favorite lens, I love it. Um, I've shot a lot with that. In fact, I've been shooting out here just now, and because it's not as big or as long, it's fairly stable. So it looks like, when I'm zooming in, it's it's hard for me to tell on the back of a camera, even zoomed in, but uh, when I get them on the computer, I'll know for sure. But it looks like uh, I've got some pretty decent ones. So I just love to shoot these like half second exposures, running water. I just love that silky smooth water thing. If you've seen me edit photos, you see me smoothing water and skies all the time. I don't know, it's just a thing I like. So. Uh, have adequate footwear 
and uh, bring something that's capable of stabilizing uh, your lens, uh, even if it's an extended uh, zoom lens, because um, this tiny little handheld thing is not. It's great at holding my GoPro, which is what it's doing right now, does not hold a, uh, an extended lens. So I can get the 20 millimeter really wide shots, and of course I can crop them to change the comp a little bit, but um, I should have brought a small tripod. I just, uh, bad mistake. So anyway, uh, that was a, a little adventure in the woods. Appreciate it. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll be back soon with more videos. I'll be going to Iceland here in, uh, in not too uh, distant future and uh, plan to take some video there. So uh, you guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you really soon and uh, adios.